Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today I am going to be doing a playthrough of a very spooky video game. This one is called Murder House, and I thought this would be fitting for Halloween, but I'm also going to make sure it's a good ASMR video because while my voice might be gentle, the game is not. It is a very dark, disturbing game with some very uh, upsetting subject matter at times and graphic violence. And uh, it can have some pretty decent scares to it. I recently played it and I found it very enjoyable and scary, but also cheesy at the same time. It's a good kind of like 80s B-movie horror type of thing. So either way, I figured for Halloween, might as well do a relaxing playthrough of it. Because as you know, I like to make things that are not supposed to be relaxing, relaxing. And that is the case with today's topic. So, without much further ado, let's get into Murder House. And one last warning, if you are faint of heart, you might not want to watch this one. It's got some pretty dark content in it. And though I will be keeping the volume down to reduce the impact of any jump scares, I can't guarantee that none of them will still get you. So here we go, Murder House. Let's start with the prologue. As you can see here, the aesthetic of the game is very much like watching an old VHS tape of a horror movie from the 80s, but the graphic style is meant to emulate older PS1 games, as you'll see. I'm playing the Switch version here, which unfortunately has decently long loading times, but there's not many loading screens in this game, so once you get past this one, it's not too bad. So here we go. This is a game by Puppet Combo, a developer of many old-school looking horror games. Alright, so here we are at the mall, and uh, we're just gonna, you know, take a picture with the Easter Bunny. Nothing weird here, right? Nice friendly looking Easter Bunny. Come on, kid. Get your ass up there. Okay, okay. I'm smiling. Say cheese. cheese. What a beautiful photo. Happy Easter 1985. Alright, now, uh, what do we got here? Hmm. I must have fallen asleep. Am I in, uh, I am in a photo booth. Now this game has both third person and first person modes. And I'm going to do the th first person mode because I do prefer that. It's a little easier to control. Mom? Is the mall closed? Alright, so now we're in first person mode. So here I am at the mall. It's clearly late at night. And it's closed, so how did I get here? I don't know, but I might as well find my way out. Here's the exit. It's locked. I can't get out this way. Well, I guess I'll have to go this way. Nothing too spooky here, just an empty mall. Definitely not creepy at all. Some mannequins, they're not any danger to me, I don't think. Nice little courtyard area, some comfortable seating. They even got a dollar quest if you want some good value goods, but I'm just trying to get out of here. So let's find a way out. Maybe I can crawl under this gate. A security gate. Looks like I can crawl under it. Now, 
let's keep going. Just walking along, nothing to worry about here. Just a dark, empty mall. No one else here, it's just me. Nothing to worry about. And what's this? That's where the Easter Bunny was taking photos. It sure is empty now. So, let's do third person for now. Actually, no, I'm going back to first person. Let's go see where we were taking photos. See if there's anything to find up here. Hmm. The music's getting a bit ominous. I wonder why. Hmm. Alright, well there was nothing up there. Just the chair where I took photos with the Easter Bunny. Or a photo. Let's keep moving. I've got another gate here. Maybe I can get past this one too. Another security gate. This one is locked. Guess I gotta find a key somewhere. But seeing as I've already played this game, I'm going to streamline some of these processes because I already know where some of the stuff is. I don't remember everything about the game, but it'll definitely go quicker than my first playthrough. Let's just keep on walking then. What's this? We got a shiny thing here. What could it be? It's the key. You took the key. I can use inventory items by pressing the X button. So I got an inventory here. That's me in the bottom right, Justin. Justin is just fine. A key, I wonder what it opens. Does it open the exit here? Nope. All right, let's go back to the security gate and give it a try. Walking, walking, walking. Just walking along. Alright, let's use the key. It's unlocked. There we go. Now let's keep moving. How do I get out of this mall? I wonder. I think what I'm going to do is, in the editing, any jump scares, I will turn down the game audio, so... There's no random loud sounds. You need to worry. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Hello? Hello? Yeah, if there are any jump scares, in terms of audio jump scares, I will turn down the volume and editing so they won't be too effective. I can't guarantee what happens on screen. Won't bother you though. What's this? A bunch of creepy mannequins. Why aren't they dressed? That is a question. Should I be going this way? I clearly saw something going this way. There's got to be a way out. Somehow. I don't know. How about this exit door here? Huh, nice bright hallway. Missing. Huh, Daniel Gray is missing. That's a shame. How about this? Randy Martinez. Seems like we got some missing children, unfortunately. Authorized personnel only. It's locked. This one is also locked. Well, let's just keep going down the hallway. this. Also locked. Can I go into the bathroom? Yes, I can. Alright, we're in the bathroom. I don't really need to go, but let's see if there's anything in the stall. 
Looks like I can hide in the store. Seems like a good hiding place. Hmm. I can peek under the store. But there's not really much reason for me to be here right now. It's not like I'm hiding from anything, right? Right? Right. How about here? Nope, that's locked. Okay. Well, I guess I'm done with the bathroom break. Let's keep moving on. Alright, back down the hallway. I wonder what could be at the end of this hallway. Probably nothing to worry about. What about here? Another locked door. Well, let's just keep walking along. And, uh, oh, uh-oh. Looks like we got the uh, Easter Bunny coming after me. He's got a big old sickle. So it's probably a good idea to just get out of here somehow. Might as well hide in that bathroom I found. Unfortunately, this game does have some pretty abrasive sounds, so not quite ASMR all the time, but, you know, that comes with the territory. So I'm hiding in the stall now. Oh, here comes the Easter Bunny. He's locked the door. There's no escape. Oh boy. Well, what do we got here? Alright, good thing I'm not in the other stall. Here he goes, checking for me. Uh-oh. Come on. Go away. Go away. He's still looking. Is he gone? so I'm not going to say hello, but I think he might be gone. Let's see if this is still locked. Yep. Alright, so how am I going to get out of here? Well, assuming he's not hiding in one of the stalls, it seems like he's gone. Alright, we got another hallway here. It's a broken vending machine and a working vending machine. door here. There's a code. I don't know the code. And this door here lets me in. What do we have here? It's a flashlight. Should be useful. Let's equip the flashlight. Uh, okay. So now I have a flashlight. Nice to have. This seems like a sort of generator, storage room type of thing. I wonder what's in here. It's a hole in the floor. It looks pretty deep. I heard something. I don't know what that is. This could be useful. Will you take the screwdriver? Yes, I will. Alright. Let's keep looking. I've got a TV here. There's nothing on it. And yeah. Looks like that's it for this room. Okay, got another hallway, a little maintenance hallway type thing. Okay, and the locker room. Just some lockers. Now, this took me a bit on my first time playing, but I'll save you the time here and let you know it's this locker you gotta grab or interact with. Or one of these. Has it changed? Does it change between playthroughs? Maybe it does. Let's try all the lockers. Or maybe it doesn't. It doesn't let me open it till I get something else. Let's keep looking. Got some showers. This one's empty. This one is also empty. This one is also empty, but not really. If you look down, there's something in the drain, but I can't reach it. Gotta fix
fish it out with the screwdriver? Yes, I can. I'm going to take the key. Alright. So, maybe now, if I walk up to this locker. Yeah. 1024. If I use the key on it. There's nothing inside. Except some numbers. Now, where might I be able to use these numbers? I think you know what I'm thinking. So, let's go and take a look. Let's see. How about this door here? What was the code? I've already forgotten it. <laughs> Silly me. Let's take another look. Five, five, three, four. All right. My short-term memory isn't so great today, apparently. Five, five, three, four. Five. Oh, no, that's four. Five, five, three, four. It's unlocked. Okay. I've got a break room here. Oh, it's the janitor. Maybe he can help me. That's right. You know, I just did stuff. He sure has. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty likely. Janitor versus Easter Bunny, who's going to win? I guess we're going to find out the hard way. Well, look out the window. Yes. Nothing to see here. File cabinets. More file cabinets. Is it just me or did it get darker? Hmm. Uh-oh. I better hide. Under the desk. Anyone there? I hear footsteps. Oh boy. The Easter Bunny has murdered me. And that is the intro of Murder House. So we've got the opening credits for Murder House here. A bunch of names I've not heard of, but all clearly talented people if they made this game or starred in it. Interesting that they have credits for the missing children photos. This game does have good music. Blood Machine designed the Easter Bunny. And Dave Bruno did the death animations. Well, let's see how things go. I do believe that in the main game there is a uh, sort of random element part of it. 
so it might be more or less scary than it was for me on my first playthrough, and more or less difficult, but we'll find out. I do think there is some random stuff going on though. It felt like that to me. Present day 1988. Well, today is clearly 2021, but you know, in the world of the game, 1988 is the present day. Quite a little foggy area we got here. But what's this? Is that a news van? Looks like we've arrived. incident with the poodle. What, what happened with the poodle? I want to know what happened with the poodle. There goes the van, driving up to the house. The real estate agent. Well, I guess we're going to find out at some point. My name? It's Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us the way in. Okay. This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled a tendon at track practice and I don't think I can run for very long. Once my stamina drains, I have to take a break and walk it off before I can run again. Welp. Okay. For some reason I was like, why am I staring at the camera? But I'm in control now. So like I said, I'm gonna, for the sake of this video, kind of streamline things when I know what to do. And I remember that you can't go in through the front of the house, but you can get in through a spot in the back. We have a greenhouse here. Interestingly, there is a, uh, a gun sitting there. Can't reach it from here though. I wonder if that'll come in handy later. Anyway, let's check this little uh, window here from the basement. Down into the basement we go. I can't believe I'm breaking into a house. It sure is creepy in here. Hmm. So there's a fair amount of stuff you should check when you're playing this game, but uh, I'm going to try and remember what needs to be checked instead of doing everything, because that might be a little tedious for this video. We got a breaker box here, or a fuse box, but a fuse is missing. Interesting. A little dark in here. Maybe I'll come back later. Let's go upstairs. We have a kitchen, just a sink, and a fan, and the back door. So I found a way out to the back. Now let's keep looking around. We've got missing doorknob on that door. But what about this red door? Looks like we're in the living room. And that would be the front door. Let's open it up. Nope. Haven't seen him yet. Take 50 bucks. You haven't even gone inside yet, Dana. Okay. Let's grab the equipment. Here's the van. Got a nice little sliding door. 
going to grab one of the cases and take it inside. I hope this hard work pays off. Back outside to grab the other case. And back inside with the other case. You stay right there, Van. Alright, finished. Never want to do this again. But it's kind of my job, so I probably will. The lights are set up, but there's no power in this house. Damn it. I better tell someone. Here's someone. Tom seems to like this house, unlike Dana. I fall somewhere in the middle. We know, Dana. I can't turn on the lights. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. Okay, I'll figure something out. Let's take a look around. On the second floor, we've got this room here. An empty cabinet. A locked door. Some furniture, it's all covered up. How about this here? A dresser. Let's search the dresser. Nothing in there. That one's locked, I'll have to remember that. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Well, how about this one? Nothing. Also nothing. A whole lot of nothing here. And another locked one I'll have to remember. Hmm. Nothing special yet. Let's keep looking around. That door is locked. What about this one? Nope, not locked. What's this? A cabinet, but it looks like there's, but it looks like there's something behind it. I can't move it myself. I'll have to remember that for later. A TV, but there's no power. Here's another dresser. Nothing there. But what's this? A fuse. That should be useful. And in here, nothing. But I got the fuse, so I should be able to turn the power back on. Let's give it a try. Huh? Who's that? It's locked. Interesting. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I was seeing things. Let's go turn the power back on. We have here a flimsy lock. Alright, back downstairs. But what about this here? Hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like someone broke the lock on the basement window and got in the house since the last time I was over here. They stole the goddamn fuse so the power is out. Don't worry, I know there's another fuse around here somewhere. I left the front door open in case I don't hear you guys drive up. Just shout for me when you get inside. Hmm. Well, we'll have to find out what happened to the real estate agent. Let's check these drawers while we're over here. Bunch of nothing. Hey, a pencil. I wonder what I can use that for. 
some more drawers. That one's locked. That one's empty. And nothing in there. Okay, let's go downstairs. So, how about this fuse box? I guess I just screw it in. Great, the power's back on. Is something inside the dryer? I don't know. Let's hope if there is, it's nothing nefarious. Something is banging inside, but the door is jammed shut. Hmm. Guess I can't see right now. I'll have to come back later when I have some sort of tool. Let's go report that the power is back on. That's right. Let's get started. first shot of the news thing. So with that and the power back on, perhaps I should do a little more exploring. What's, what's this? A hole in the floor? I see something shiny at the bottom, but I can't reach it. Don't have anything I can use to get it. Let's go back downstairs. See if I can turn the lights on downstairs or if they're already on. Over in this room. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Is there a light switch? I don't remember, honestly. There's a locked cabinet there. I'll have to remember that. Oh, here is Dana. sink upstairs. Might as well use that. So here's the sink. Is there a cup lying around? Yes, there is. I will take the mug. Now let's fill it up. Filled it with water. Back down we go. Where is Dana? Over here. Oh yeah, I have to 
to use it for my inventory. Maybe, maybe not. That's a very confident yes. Hmm. A key. for that key. If they want to see ghosts, they should watch my last video. So I'm going to have to dress up as a ghost and run through the background. All right. Let's do this. After Dana says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I need to run through the door. Action. The rampage started in late March 1979 when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years no later, bueno. many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, a spooky ghost. I apologize to the viewers at home, but I just felt an energy pass by behind me. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. All right. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great time. I'm going to go use the restroom. Hey, you. I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizza. Use the station credit card. Okay. So... I know I can turn on these lights somehow. I don't remember if I do it yet or later. But it is kind of bugging me. I'm going to do a quick look around. Power is back on. That's right. Is there a switch? You know, for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it as is. I might regret this later, but we'll see. Might as well go we'll get some pizzas. I should investigate what the small key does. All right, let's go find where I can use the key. I think I might know. It's locked. Seems like a flimsy lock, but I can't get in without a key. How about this key? It's unlocked. So what's under the stairs? I feel safe in this room. Like nothing bad can happen here. An empty journal. Maybe I can use it to write down my progress. So this is actually the save room for the game. And you save by using pencils, which are in limited supply. So you can only save a certain number of times in the game. It's pretty short though, so it's not a big deal. Now I can see in the dark with the flashlight. Better check if I missed anything. So I don't think I need to save just yet. Let me equip the flashlight and take a look around. Kind of a flickery flashlight. Let's go back downstairs, see if I can find a light switch in that darkness. Alright. 
Actually, if I have the flashlight, I really don't need a light switch. I'm just remembering now. I don't even think there is one. Somebody left a crowbar down here. It could be useful. I'm going to take it. I don't remember what that's used for, but I know it's for something important. You guys just saw that, right? It's almost as if a little girl ran past me and right through this door. But it's locked. Things are awfully suspicious around here. It's a hiding spot. Alright, what can I use that crowbar on? I think I know. How about we find out what's inside the washing machine? Hmm. What is that? It's a doorknob. I'm kind of relieved. I was expecting something horrible. Alright, so if you recall, there was a door up here without a knob. Should be useful for that. It's getting dark already. Yep, if I turn off my flashlight, it's pretty dark in here. Got the kind of orange red sunset colors coming through. Let's put the doorknob on. I can open it now. Okay. Let's put the flashlight on. So we got a piano. And what's this? A fire poker. That's a pretty good weapon. I may need to defend myself. Let's take it. Let's equip it. So I can swing it if I want. Might come in handy. Looks like we have an Easter basket here. Creepy. And this piano. Just a piano. Alright. So how about we go out to the van and get some pizzas? Pizza, pizza, pizza time? Maybe not. The van, who would do this? There's a note pinned on the windshield. So someone has made the van pointless. We can't use it anymore. It's been destroyed. But there's something on the windshield. Nowhere to go now. Looks like we'll be playing a game. You'll be hunting eggs. I will be hunting you. Find them all and you can leave. Don't find them and you can't. Well, now isn't that ominous? I guess there's no pizza for us. And I've got to find some eggs. Let's uh, report back to the team. Now where is the team? Where have they gone? Hmm. Where could they be? Let's check downstairs. Anyone here? Hello? Hello? Anyone home? Anyone? No one downstairs. How about we check upstairs? Pizzas. 
find him either. Uh, must be the goddamn real estate agent. I told you you'd get another 50 bucks when we were done. Come out, you chicken shit. Damn it, Gary. It's getting dark, and this place is scary and gross. Can we finish this? Fine. I don't know where the hell Tom is, so you're gonna have to hold the camera. What? Alright, I guess I'm becoming a camera person. Just hold it steady. That's about it. Okay. Time to hold the camera. This is Dana Turner on location. I've just been informed that we're stuck here. Someone has wrecked our van and we can't get our fucking pizza lunch promised by my producer. That's right. We want pizza. Executed in the electric chair in 1985, back from the dead, and back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it, Dana. Cut. I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. It's a bit late for lunch. Alright, I guess we gotta find Tom. Fortunately for me and the uh, efficiency of this video, I remember where Tom is, so let's go find Tom. Oh, Tom, where are you? Tom, Tom, Tom. Tommy, Tom, Tom. So Tom would happen to be right around here. There he is. Tom, I didn't think I would find you. This is getting weird. Do you think the Easter Ripper is back? It looks like we're stuck here. All the doors are locked. The doors are locked. Well, I'm not sure he's going to report back to Gary and Dana, but I can at least say that I found him. So I got this key now, a large key. Must open something special. I'll have to remember that I have it. I don't know, that's a little, a little bad. We've been locked in here. I wonder if anything bad could happen soon. Gotta be careful. You know, this might be a good time to save. Just in case something bad happens and I screw it up. I could save my game if I had a pencil, which I do. Should I save the game? Yes. So, these are my saves from my first playthrough. Let's overwrite it. Alright. Let's uh, go report back to Gary and Dana. just heard that, but there's a bang and breaking glass. Oh boy. Well, let's continue what we were trying to do here. Help me! There's somebody else in here! Uh-oh. Wow. Dana is no longer going to be the host of this news program, I can tell you that, and I have to get out of here. Oh boy, here he comes. Here comes the Easter Ripper. Uh, let's use this key. Can I get in here? Yes, I can. The Easter Ripper? It can't be. I think I'm safe. How am I going to get out of here? Well, at least I'm temporarily safe up here. But the Easter Ripper is indeed back in some form. Here's a pencil. And I have to find my way out of here. Presumably by finding eggs. A circuit breaker. Just a normal light. What else do we have up here? 
Another cabinet. Nothing in there. What about this? A letter opener. That could come in handy. Alright. So. Is this anything? Nope. Got a fridge. It's broken. And yeah. So we might be kind of stuck out here or up here. Unless we want to venture back down into the East Ripper's territory. We might have to. Here we go. I do think his appearances are random from this point on in various rooms. So we'll have to be very careful. There's something shiny in Dana's mouth. There's an Easter egg shoved in it. It's the death egg. This must be the first egg I have to find. Anyone around? Let's check in here. No Easter Ripper here. But I do recall a locked drawer here. Let's try the letter opener. What's this? Another pencil. Nice to have. And one more here. Oh, I forgot I have to use it from the inventory. What's this? Ah, it's a gun. Perfect. Something tells me I should save the ammo though. that for? Let's see. I have an idea. And while we're at it, might as well save if it's a safe time to. Yes. So he's not close by right now. So we're 
inside that first save. And uh, go try the magnet somewhere. I think I hear footsteps. Let's be quick. What's in here? It's another key. Where could this key go? Oh, another kid. Another kid ghost. Could the key go here? seen a lock. How about here? There we go. It's been unlocked. Alright, so what do we have in here? Oh, it's just scary. I'm trying to do that myself, buddy. scary. If he's not dead yet, he's going to be get dead in a few seconds. Yep, he's dead. He, is he gone is a question you can answer both ways. Gary is gone from this world and it seems the East Ripper is gone from this room. Thankfully I was able to hide under the bed, but you know, that was not a good way to go for Gary. No, sir. What's this? It's a black light. Just a stupid black light. What am I going to do with this? Well, I have an idea. The big bunny watches us. Its big black eye follows me when I move. It always watches. At night, we hear noises coming from the walls. The first time I heard them, I got happy because I thought it was you and Mommy shouting for me, coming to save me. But it wasn't. When the shouting starts, the others cover their ears, but I try and listen. I put my head against the wall and hold my breath, but no matter how hard I try, I can't understand what they're saying. They shout and cry a lot. It isn't Mommy, and it isn't you, but it sounds like adults, and they sound sad really sad. Did the Easter Bunny take them too? Seems plausible. What do we have in this dresser? Nothing. Still nothing. Alright. Let's go use that black light. I have an idea of where to use it. But he's in the way. I'm gonna go hide. I believe I can hide under the table. Uh-oh. Seems he found me. Let's run away before he kills me. I think there are better hiding spots downstairs. I like this cabinet. This wardrobe. Might not be lucky though. I think I hear him coming. There he goes. Let's give it a few seconds. And then try running back upstairs. Alright. Now let's go upstairs. Wrong way. 
Oh. Alright, if I run fast enough, maybe I can get up to the room with the light and outrun him. Let's go, 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 go. I don't know how long he's going to be chasing me. Move, move, move. Alright. Hopefully I'm safe in here for a moment. Because I'm going to replace this light. With the black light. And see what we can find. Did that reveal anything? Let's see. Oh. By this door. Or whatever this is. What's that? It's a dumb waiter. I'm gonna go down the dumb waiter. Now what could be down here? Got some bunny paintings. And some well instruments of torture. Is this where he keeps his victims? Let's take a look. We have a skeleton. This child seems to have died from the cold. Oh, this is rough. A skeleton of a toddler in its crib looks to have died of starvation. I'm telling you right now, this is the worst Easter Bunny of all time. See, when I was warning you guys of dark and disturbing stuff, I was talking about this section. It gets worse. So, if you're feeling particularly uncomfortable, you might want to tap out now. But is there anything in here? Not yet. Let's try the letter opener. I don't know if the Easter Ripper can follow me down here, but let's hope he can't. What's that? Pistol ammo. Always nice to have. Let's check this other room. More skeletons. I'm going to be sick. Oh, there was a note on the floor. The blonde girl is gone. Gracie won't stop staring at the big bunny on the wall. Randy says the chocolate eggs makes us sleepy. I'm not going to eat tonight. Randy told me to memorize this song. I don't know what he means. I wrote it down. 8883553121010108. So it took me a moment to figure out that song earlier, but you'll see where it comes into play. What's in the dresser? Another pencil. I should probably save next time I get upstairs. Alright. Let's check uh, another room here. Well then. Horrible thing has happened here. Ain't it the truth? It would be terrible to re be restrained this way. Will you take the rope? I got a rope. Sorry to take this, but I need it to get out of here. Alright. Speaking of getting out of here, let's get out of this basement area or whatever this is. This leads out to the part of the basement I've already been. And now I have the piano song and the rope. What can I do with those things? Well, I'll show you. What's this on the floor? Tom's camera. 
The tape is still here. I'm gonna take the tape. Now let's go save. It feels like somebody's holding the door shut. I can't save. And is it just me or is it particularly red in here? There's a red light coming from upstairs. What could it be? Help me. Oh dear. What is that? Where do I go? Hello? It's gone. Was it a hallucination? Seems probable. Alright, now I can save. Time to save. Alright. So we've got a few things we can try out now. We can try the piano, we can try the videotape, and we can try the rope. Let's start with the piano. Just a piano. How do I open it? Ah. That's right. I can't open it yet, I don't think. But once I can, I can play it. Let's go upstairs. The rope. I'm going to use the rope. Oh dear. Maybe not right now. I'm going in here. Can I hide under the bed? Oh boy. Seems like he hit me. Yep, he did. And he still saw me go under here. Oh, well. Looks like I'm dead. Thankfully I just saved, so I can just reload. I like the kind of Dark Souls-ish, you died screen. Time to reload. Alright. So this time... Let's go straight to the room of the TV and hope the Easter Ripper is not nearby. I believe it was this room. That's right. Alright, where is the tape? Let's see what's on the tape. recording it looks like they got caught by the Easter Ripper. But the Easter Ripper seems to have hidden something in the piano. Not Tom too. Did the killer hide something in the piano? Well, there's only one way to find out. But while I'm up here, I did notice there's a pencil. And also, while I'm up here, remember this? The cabinet that I need help pulling? What if I was to use the rope on it? Alright, I'll give it a shot.
pencil. And probably nothing else. Right. How about this cabinet? Mr. Ripper here. He put something in the piano, but the cover is locked. There must be another way to open it. Use the piano. Alright. So if you remember, there's a song written down there. It took me a minute to figure out what it is, but let me see if I can do it. safety. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure where the last egg is. I've forgotten. But we'll figure it out. Mr. Ripper is not around himself. safe. 
Let's see. Alright, so I'm into the bathroom. I think I might remember. Let's check in here again. Yep, we got Gary all strung up. With the last egg inside his stomach. Let's go put it in the basket. just in case. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Because we were promised that we could get out of here. Let's go down to the basement. The, uh, the cells. And take another look. I'm going to tell you, this Easter Ripper person is a terrible, terrible person. Alright, so this door is open now. Where might it go? I've got this very long walkway with dirt walls. Are we under the backyard? Let's go up the ladder. Huh. We're in the greenhouse. I have a bad feeling about this. Let me equip my pistol. Unfortunately, I can't walk while holding it up. But hopefully it'll be enough. And if not, wasn't there a gun over here? Yes. A shotgun. Thought I heard a door slam. Well, I've got a gun, so hopefully whatever it is, I'll be okay. Can I leave through the exit here? Defense time. Gotta be careful. Because he's pretty fast. Oh, I had to reload. That's no good. Let's keep running. Gotta be careful. He almost hit me there. there. No? Just in case. 
Might as well equip the shotgun. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh no, it's locked. What about the other one? Uh oh, he wasn't dead. What's happening? Uh oh, it looks like his victims are back for revenge. Get him. Get the Easter Ripper. Get him. Now's my chance. I better run. And that's Murder House. No, there is something after the credits. So I'll skip ahead to that. What's that? Are you telling me this whole thing was a movie? A news report within a movie? Alright, so I guess there really wasn't any danger after all. All day, clap, clap, clap. I mean, I guess so. We're not rolling. You can put it down. Yeah, not very confident in your work, huh? My real name is Sarah, apparently. Nick skipped town, huh? Tom wasn't even supposed to be the Easter Ripper. Alright, well, let's take a look around the set. Hey, scary. He got his pizza after all. Three whole pizzas. No, pizza. I was bored. Not much left to do since I died. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, thank God. Maybe someone could give me a ride into town off this hell set. You know people really got scared of your fact. So the Easter River was a real thing. But this reenactment, not so much. Not reenactment, but movie set in the present. Which would imply that the prologue was real, but the events of the main game were not. Let's go inside. Nice and bright in here. Look at all the pizza. Oh, no more pizza. Oh yeah, but it's not pizza. Oh, the mug is still there. Well, the pizza's gone. What else we have in here? I got the costume and a couple or a couple of costumes. What did happen to Nick? He disappeared, right? But why? I don't know. Let's take a look down the stairs. Anyone or anything interesting down here? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. So maybe not. Let's go back up. How about upstairs? Let's take a look. Nothing. 
something in here. Nothing in the bathroom. Nothing in the TV room. Nothing in this room. It's time to go home for the day, right? Let's go outside, out front. But first, before we leave, let's check on this trailer here. Who's in here? Ah, it's Dana. Kelsey, actually. Alright, so I'm going to help her out with her audition, her, her line reading. My line reading is so dry. sleep. Uh, which one's my car? This one? I think so. Nope. This one. Oh, I don't have my keys. Must have dropped them somewhere. Where might they be? I don't remember uh, where the keys were, but let's go back inside and take another look. Oh, um, I, not really, they're kind of disgusting. Skeleton Master. Is that my key down there? Yes it is. Alright, time to get out of here. And very far away from Mr. Skeleton Poser. Okay, back upstairs. is a little convoluted at times, but not too complicated. Oh, they're gonna party, and then clean up. Oh, there they go dancing. Unfortunately, I apparently can't dance. I can try though. Not really. Shoot ever. Oh, even the kids were actors, of course. Zombie girl. I like turtles. Zombie child likes turtles. Let's party. What about Justin? Oh yeah, that's the kid from the prologue. So was the prologue fake as well, or just someone dressed up as the real Justin? Either way, it doesn't really matter. Time to go home. And away we go. Well, that's the 
the end of that. Bye bye, murder house. I like the very obvious uh, edge of the scrolling background. But yeah, we're just taking a nice and leisurely drive home. While the camera ominously moves through the car. I wonder what could be in the back. Time to find out. It's a certain Easter Ripper. And that's that. That was Murder House. And I do hope you enjoyed it. I know playing a horror game is not necessarily the first thing you think of when you think of ASMR, but I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you thought it was suitable for the holiday of Halloween. I do how much this video ideally was uploaded. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.